we have to find our children, we have to find out what happened to them, and who's responsible for it, and who is going to pay the penalty for what happened to our children. A group of indigenous women called the Mohawk Mothers embarked on a legal battle in the search for possible unmarked graves here at the former Royal Victoria Hospital in Montreal. Since 2015, the group has been to court several times to try to intervene in the construction of a new future downtown McGill University campus to have the area properly searched for unmarked graves. That's what we want. And we will not stop until we accomplish that. So that's where we are now. We've been stopped many times, but it hasn't stopped. During the 1950s and 60s, the Psychiatric Institute at the Royal Victoria Hospital performed mind control experiments. The Mohawk mothers say that there could be survivors of those treatments buried at the site, both Indigenous and non-Indigenous. At the um, uh, Alley Memorial, those children were Native children. I, I know of people who were sent there, and so I know, and they know too what happened. They, they, they're old now, but they remember. In June, cadaver dogs identified possible evidence of human remains on the site, but since then there has been no confirmation of human remains found. They came with these machines and they just chopped away at these, and they dug out and they pulled out the dirt, piled it on the side, and they looked at it. I don't see anything there and then they threw all the dirt back in. They should be following best practices when it comes to forensic archaeology. Um, this evidence needs to be sifted by hand by trained forensic archaeologists. In November, a court ruling reinstated the archaeologist panel involved in the investigation, but McGill is requesting authorization to appeal that decision. The university says the court misinterpreted the settlement agreement reached in April. However, they continue to agree that the panel should be consulted if there is an unexpected discovery during excavation. It's totally antithetical to truth and reconciliation, what McGill has been doing. Um, appealing, appealing these decisions by the court, um, that's not reconciliation. We didn't see much of the reconciliation. We just saw that we were being cast aside. We were, de we were denied information. We were denied even the presence with them. It was just very, very difficult for us. We were not respected at all. And so that's, so that's where we are. In Montreal, Gareth Maddock-Jones, City News.